Hello, this is Oxhub and I've gotten a lot of questions on how to do the 3D floor I made on Oxhub vs. Blazor. So I'm going to show you guys because I love you guys. So yeah, what I did, it's actually pretty simple. Like, you've seen how I make a regular run or whatever. I make guidelines. So this will be the center of the floor, kind of. I could even make a line like that or whatever. And this is where the floor will be placed in the animation. And to make the actual floor, you can just simply make a, your own grid of lines or you can like I did use a texture wow that is pretty large we'll shrink it down and uh, now this is a square we don't want that or maybe we do but I don't I break it apart and I make a circle of line like that maybe you can't see it on the video but it's there and I remove that Ta -da. now I have the circle that will be the floor uh, let's see what do I do now uh, yeah you can add different effects to this like I managed to blur the edges it was pretty I use several layers of stuff and whatever. But yeah, now we'll just look at how I made this look 3D. So you turn it into a symbol, a graphic or movie clip, doesn't matter. And you do this. There you have the 3D floor, kind of and how I made this look the way it did was whenever I moved a vcam I'll make a fake vcam here just so I can demonstrate like that and yeah this vcam uh, I'm gonna f give it a transparent film so I can move it easier there. This VCAM is gonna be like uh, it's hard to explain, but if you look at this platform, you can see that this is the center of it. So whenever I move the VCAM, let's say here in the animation, I would tilt it so that this point would be about in the middle of the VCAM. So that way it would look very 3D-ish. And if I were to move it there, I would move it almost like that. It would be very far, so I wouldn't move it that much outside the floor, but maybe like that. And yeah, how and to make it, the, it move smoothly, just tween it. So, if I were to, to, whoops, to tween, make it a symbol. If I were to tween the weight, the V cam over here, and maybe even zoom in a bit, like that the floor would have to follow so I would tilt it to there and I would tween it and it would follow and as you can see it would often like go up and down so I would add a frame in between and just make it smaller so yeah that's how I made most of it. 
and I would just animate the stick figures mainly just make them follow this line in the middle and that way they would always be standing on the same point no matter how much I tilted this background thingy so you can make a whole animation out of just that but I also made one part where the floor rotated a whole lap yeah, well a half lap like 180 degrees so I'll show you how I did that as well I'll clear and remove twin. So what I did, I go inside this symbol. I, I usually made a new one and just put it at the same place, but I'll just show how I did it. I have to make this a symbol inside this symbol. And I would tween this inside the symbol. 80 degrees and create motion tween and it will rotate rotate so now if you look here the floor is rotating three dimensional cool huh so how did I manage to keep the stick figures on place without like making them float around on the floor. I made a grid to show where they all were supposed to stand. I'll show you how I made that too. I made a cross in the middle first like that. Copy, paste, and Rotate uh, there. Copy, paste, rotate, copy, paste, rotate there. And I would make circles. Let's see. Uh, cut. Paste, uh, paste, made like a spider web. So that way I could easily see where I was supposed to place the feet throughout the animation. And if you look here, this is what it looked like while I was working on it. Had this 3D grid I'll make it longer so it won't the tween so it won't spin as fast. So that is how I managed to do this. <laughs> And last, but not least, how did I make those rocks on the floor? I'll show that as well. So you go back here. And I made small markings on the platform. Like, let's say, there, there, there. That's where the rocks would be placed throughout the animation. So whenever the floor would move I would simply put it on top of there like I'll make a fake rock here it's gonna be red, blue there's my rock convert it into a symbol whoops, not gonna move the cam and as the floor would rotate, I would simply tween the rock to go with the floor. Oh yeah, I, I placed this white dot so it would always be on the 
on where the white dot should be on the red dot, if you know what I mean. So I do this, like this, like this, like that, and create tweens. And I would have to edit several times to make it look smooth and sometimes this tween would slow down and I'd have to make it this slow down because this tween always goes straight so I'd sometimes have to make break this tween up several times to make it go in a curve or on the floor so yeah that's basically it how I made the 3D floor I hope this was helpful and you totally should try it out. See if you can do it. It's not that hard, just it's very time consuming. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye.